welcome to Preach the Word Worldwide Network. Yeah. Praise God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Welcome to the Preach the Word show. And I'm telling you what a time we're going to have in the Lord today. I have with me today an awesome woman of God. Put your hands together for prophetess Trish Morissette. God bless you. <laughs> Blessings to you. Yeah, same to you. Yes, thank you so much for joining us today. It's an honor. It is. Yes, you have such a beautiful spirit. You're just beautiful inside and outside. Thank you. And I know you have so much to share today. Yes, it seems that you are such a busy woman of God. <laughs> um, you have your own ministry, um, Trish M Ministries. Yes. Um, you have your own business. Um, you operate heavily in the prophetic. Um, um, so much that God is, is, is doing through you. Tell me a little bit about what's going on with you in ministry right now. Well, I tell you, God is doing so much right now. Um, with Trisha Ministries, what we're doing is we're getting ready for our one day prophetic seminar. It's called I Am Fabulous. It's for women, mm -hmm. empowering women to be fabulous in spirit, soul, and body. Wonderful. Yes, we also have a mega conference that we're pre preparing for mm -hmm. that will take place in September. Mm -hmm. In September, this is gonna be a gathering of the prophets. It's a speaking okay. word conference. Wow, praise where the God. the prophets will have rule and reign and just, just a free flow in speaking what thus saith the Lord. Yes. You know, a safe haven for the prophets to come forth mm -hmm. and minister what God is saying in mm -hmm. this time and season. Yes. So we're very busy. I'm also training prophets and mm -hmm. people gifted in the prophetic at my church, mm -hmm. Agenda International Ministry out of Panama City, Florida. Yes, and your pastor is here, actually. Yes, Pastor Amen. Zenobia is Yes, so let's get a shout of your pastor. <laughs> Amen. Come on, put your hands together for her. Yes. Praise God. Um, pastor Anthony and Zendora. Zenobia. Zenobia. Yes. Okay, Andrew, put your hands together for them again. Kingdom Agenda International Ministries. Yes. Amen. It is so great to have your pastor here today too. Yes, now, now let's get back here. You carry such a, a great confidence yes. um, in who you are um, operating in the prophetic. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people really don't understand what that is. Talk to me today and tell me why is the prophetic so important today? Oh my, we have to understand that Prophets are the mouthpiece of God. Yes. We speak the very utterances of God. And and in these last days, it's even more critical than ever before that we know what thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. The word of the Lord tells us that he reveals his secrets to his prophets. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 And as he give and prop, we don't know everything. But that that we do know, that mm -hmm. that God gives us to share, we are to minister it. Whether people will like it or not. That's it. That's whether it. Whether they'll rebuke us, reject us or mm -hmm. not, we have to speak with us yes. and the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even more critical in these mm -hmm. last days. Yes, yes. How long, ha how long have you been the prophetess that you are? Oh, wow. Well, I've actually had the opportunity under my ministry uh, with Kingdom Agenda, my mm -hmm. church, to actually have free flow in it. Mm -hmm. I've been operating prophetically for years. Mm -hmm. I've had training within the last, I want to say three, four years. I've mm -hmm. done the School of Prophets. Mm -hmm. I've had other individual trainings that I've done for, mm -hmm. I did the School of Prophets for a full year mm -hmm. and outside of that did several trainings. So actually within the last three years, I would mm -hmm. say I have just been trained and groomed to be yes. where I am today. Mm -hmm. Yes, amen. amen. Prophetically, um, what is it that you can say? I, I know there are people out there that's watching the show now. There's that mother um, that's hurting. Mm -hmm. You know, she's going through mm -hmm. um, major uh, marital problems. And, and there's that man that has lost his job and he yeah. don't know where to turn. People are hurting all over the world. Yeah. What is it that you can say today to bring peace into the weary souls? If you look right into this camera. I would say, look to your source, which is Jehovah God. Jehovah Jireh, who is the provider. A lot of times we look for confirmation and clarification, a word of, uh, of exaltation from somebody else. Mm -hmm. But God tells us that the power of life and death is in our very mouth, is in the power of the tongue. Yes. So those that are going through, no matter what it is, I don't care if it's marriage, is it financial, whatever it is, you are to speak the very word of life over that situation. Mm -hmm. God tells us that whatever the enemy is doing to come against us, that mm -hmm. we have the authority to trample over yes. him. Mm -hmm. 
We have the authority to speak those things that are not as though they were. Mm -hmm. So what I would recommend to that woman, that man, whomever you are, I would recommend that you get a boldness like never before to yeah. not settle for your situation that you're in, but to believe that greater is upon you and to declare and decree it by faith mm -hmm. that it is so. Yes. And it is done. Yes. In Jesus name. Don't give up. Don't give in to that situation because mm -hmm. it's not going to dictate who you are. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. when you know whose you are, yes. you know you can do all things. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's awesome. Because we, we actually have the authority. We have that authority to prophesy to our own self. Yes. Amen. Yes. We have that authority. And so it's time for you right now to, to begin to open up your mouth and speak life. Yes. Speak life. Speak life to your own self. You may not have anyone around you, but begin to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to live. I'm going yes. to be all right. Yes. And you keep saying that and you keep believing that. And God is going to intervene on your behalf. I want you right now to pick up the phone right now. There are operators that are waiting on your call. We have someone that's willing and wanting to pray for you, mm -hmm. coming in agreement with you. And we believe that God is going to answer on your behalf. Come on and praise God. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Woo, I, I feel such a, a heaviness here yes. of the prophetic that's being released. I, I believe that um, souls are being saved right now. Yes. Amen. We can just speak and declare right now. Let's just yes. hold hands and, and just touch and agree yes. right now that we're going to even believe that healing is going to be released yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, Amen. Yes. We're going to speak it. Yes. We're going to speak healing for that woman with that's been diagnosed with cancer. Yes. We're going to speak healing for you, man. We're going to speak healing, deliverance from drugs, addictions, yes. and whatever the case may be, yes. sugar, diabetes, even AIDS. We're going to speak that prophetic word now and declare and decree that healing is in the atmosphere. Yes. If you just lift up your hands right now, I believe God's going to do it, woman of yes. God. Amen. Yes. 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 He's doing Amen. it. Yes. He's doing it now because Amen. it's already done. It is so. He's just waiting on us. Amen. 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 <laughs> now tell me a little bit about the prophetic. What are some of the things that um, you are teaching in your class? Maybe it can bless somebody today. Amen. Well, the first thing that we tackled in the prophetic was understanding, a basic understanding of the prophetic. See, a lot of times people have the question, am I a prophet? Do I just operate in the gift? What is it? What is my call? Just because I can prophesy, does that mean that I'm a prophet? So that is a, t a subject that is so dear mm -hmm. to the body of Christ because every a lot of people out there think that just because they could prophesy, they're a prophet. Mm -hmm. And then they have the title. They put the title to their name when mm -hmm. it was never anointed and appointed My by God. God. Yes. And then thus it brings confusion to the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You're a prophet, but no. see, that's what we're tackling mm -hmm. first. We're tackling yes. understanding that. We're tackling how do we fall into the category of being a false prophet? Mm -hmm. See, people think that a false prophet is just somebody that, uh, what are your people on, on TV that read your palms and tell mm -hmm. me, yes, they are false prophets. Mm -hmm. But how many of you know that if you're a child of God, it is so easy for you to, to get into the category of being labeled as a false prophet in the eyes of God. Yes, yeah, so that's it. In mm -hmm. the eyes of God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of things that have happened in our life, because mm -hmm. of our lifestyle, things mm -hmm. that we're doing. Uh, there has been a changing of the heart. Mm -hmm. And when your heart is changed and mm -hmm. it's no longer in the right place, then mm -hmm. that means you're not doing it for God. You're doing mm -hmm. it for your own self. Yes, yes. You Wanting know? to obtain the glory yes. for themselves you obtain so the many glory times. For themselves. Yes. People are praying for prophetic words these days. How many of you know that, mm -hmm. that God freely gave yes. the word? Mm hmm and it wasn't, okay, give me a thousand dollars, I'll give you a prophetic yes, word. Yes, say it now, that's it. You know, we're mm -hmm. prostituting the gift. Mm -hmm. And that means now our heart is in the wrong place. So mm -hmm. now we, as children, mm -hmm. who are considered children of God, are now in the category of being a false prophet. Absolutely. So, you know, we have to realize it's so critical. And, and one yes. thing we went over, you got to look at the Old Testament prophets. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture in the Old Testament that talked about the prophets, how they were put to death, that they were considered to be a false prophet. Mm -hmm. But it also said that if they were, if they prophesied something, if they missed the mark mm -hmm. in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. they were sentenced to death. Mm -hmm. That means they weren't a false prophet. Mm -hmm. They were a prophet, 
but they just happened to miss God. My God. Just happened to get My it God. wrong. God took that thing so seriously in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. he put them to death. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Then Jesus Christ himself yes. came. Yes. And we were no longer under the law, mm -hmm. but now we're under grace. Good teaching. So now we can miss the mark. Yes. You know, we can, okay, I miss God on that one. But guess what? He's not ready to kill you for it. Mm -hmm. He wants you to acknowledge that you were wrong, yes. that I missed God. Mm -hmm. But make sure you try to get it right. The That's next right. Time. That's right. Amen. Amen. I know that. Bless you. Wow. That's good teaching. Very good teaching. You're going to be preaching um, shortly, um, but right before you preach, we're going to have an awesome woman of God that's going to be singing. Psalmist yeah. Nicole Carter. Come on, put your hands together for her. Wow. Woo. Praise God. Praise God. One more thing is that you have a book that's coming out. Yes. And the name of your book is? Faith in a Barren Land. Faith in a Barren Land. <laughs> Stay in touch with her for the release of her book. Listen, now we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Reach the Word. Worldwide Network. PTWWNTV is now on a new TV service called Roku. Purchase your Roku IPTV cable-like box from Radio Shack, Best Buy, or Target stores nationwide. We are now reaching the world. Preach the word. Worldwide Network TV. PTWWN TV. Call 850-656-6541 for more info.
know God is awesome. His presence is here. The glory of the Lord is here. And we reverence you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. We just bless your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for being who you are, for being awesome and majestic in all your ways. We say, have your way in this place today. Rule and reign, Lord God. Let your glory fill this place like never before. Hallelujah. Let souls be changed, delivered, set free. Let healing go forth, Lord God. Healing go forth, not just here, but in the airways, Father God. To that person that's watching tonight, let healing go forth. Hallelujah. And Father, let me not speak of myself, but only that which your Holy Spirit gives me to speak to your people on tonight. Have your way. Have your way. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Amen. Wow. God is amazing to me. That's my testimony, that he's amazing. How many of you have that same testimony? Amen. Tonight I just want to say thank you to Preach the Word Network for having me on. Thank you to my friends and my family who have come near and far tonight. I say God bless you. Amen. Amen. We don't have much time, but that time that we do have, we're going to go forward in the Word of God. Join with me tonight as we go to Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 15. That's Acts chapter 19, verses 11 through 15. Amen. And I'll read, from you, read to you from the NIV translation. In it it said, God did extraordinary miracles through Paul so that even handkerchiefs and aprons that had touched him were taken to the sick and their illnesses were cured and the evil spirits left them. Some Jews who went around driving out evil spirits tried to invoke the name of the Lord Jesus over those who were demon possessed. They would say, in the name of Jesus whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. Seven sons of Sceva, a Jewish chief priest, were doing this. One day, the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus, I know. And Paul, I know. But who are you? Which leads me to my subject for tonight. Who are you? Amen. You see, what was happening in the scriptures here, we see an awesome anointed man of God by the name of Paul. The word tells us that Paul was so anointed that his virtue was left on handkerchiefs, was left on aprons, and anybody that touched it got delivered, got healed, got set free from anything that was coming against them. Somebody shout glory.